Thank you for listening to the show on Really Big Something Channel. December 22nd, 2017. Warning. The Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of borders, language, culture, and here he is, winner of the National Radio Hall of Fame Award, Michael Savage. It's the Savage Nation, Lou Pate, sitting in for Dr. Savage as we steamroll our way towards the Christmas weekend. Merry Christmas to one and all from all of us here at the Savage Nation. Team Savage is here. Robert Clint, thank you for joining us and thank you for spending some time here with us. Tis the season for God, Faith, and Reason, the latest number one New York Times bestseller list put out by Dr. Savage. This is something you are not going to want to miss. There is still time to get it in time for Christmas. So you can go buy it at the store, or if you have Amazon Prime, I believe it's until a Saturday. Sometime on Saturday, you can get it ordered. So, God, faith, and reason. Put God under the Christmas tree this year, and uh, you will not be disappointed by Dr. Savage's latest effort. He puts his heart, his soul, and all of his passion into all of these books. And, hey, that's why they're always number one on the New York Times bestseller list. Lou Pate here with you again. A Merry Christmas. I'm, I'm glad to be here. We have a lot going on. Normally, this is a getaway day where everybody's running to where they have to go. But in the era of Trump, we find out that there is no shortage of material to talk about. There's no dead zones in talk radio or TV and cable news and newspapers. And for all of us, well, that's a good thing. 107 million people are expected to be traveling throughout the United States. That's an incredible number of people on the move. I used to be one of those people making it to the airport on days like today. And I have to say... I'm very happy to be in my home uh, this Christmas down in uh, South Florida, in Palm Beach County, just a few miles from Mar-a-Lago. Maybe I'll stop by and see our president (laughs) and end up with Christmas in jail. But um, all kidding aside, Donald Trump did just land in Palm Beach County, a few miles from where I sit, and he has signed the tax bill. And there is a lot of enthusiasm in Washington, D.C. There was a lot of enthusiasm at Palm Beach where he landed. You had to see the number of people on the tarmac. It was amazing how many people went to greet their president. Uh, I understand from uh, many of my friends who have the time to go that to watch Air Force One make the approach into Palm Beach, it, 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 is, it is pretty cool. And I hope to witness it one of these days. I, I've seen the shuttles go up, but I haven't seen Air Force One come in yet. So um, here we have it. We have the tax bill is now law. Love it or hate it. It is the law of the land. Depending on where you live in the country, it depends on how it is going to affect you. Depending on how much you make a year, depends on how it's going to affect you. Yesterday here on the Savage Nation, we had a lot of calls, both people who were uh, thrilled with the new tax cut and supporters of Trump. In California, at Dr. Savage's flagship in San Francisco, KSFO. And, of course, many calls from New York at the great WABC uh, calling in, expressing dismay, because those are the states, New York and California, and a few others, that will not be allowed to deduct their state and local taxes. And many people were aggravated by that yesterday and expressed it here on the Savage Nation. But I think what President Trump is hoping is that the other benefits will outweigh the losses in not being able to deduct more than $10,000 from your state and local taxes. So we'll talk about that. But I also want to talk about how the media, CN, CN, uh, MSNBC and CNN, really trying to make the most negative out of this. There is an irony. We have people like Chris Van Hollen who's angry about the tax bill becoming law, saying that the AT&T bonuses were just a PR stunt. I was watching, who's this Stephanie Rule on, uh, I think that's how you, I don't mispronounce people's names uh, on purpose. I think it's Rule or Roulet. 
Anyway, she's the one with the really skinny pencil nose. And she was talking about how the president is being disingenuous when it comes to this tax cut. Meanwhile, you have everybody saying that 90% of the middle class is going to get tax uh, refunds from this, or tax cuts, tax breaks, however you want to word it. On MSNBC, they can't trash it enough, yet the super irony is that Comcast, Comcast, the owner, the parent company of NBC News and MSNBC, is actually one of the companies, along with Boeing, Wells Fargo, AT&T, and others, that are giving bonuses. People like Rachel Maddow, Savannah Guthrie, uh, Stop the Hammer and Larry O'Donnell, they're all getting um, bonuses, okay, due to Trump's tax reforms, okay? They're going to be getting $1,000 each. Now, to big-name stars, that might be chump change, but cash is cash. So Comcast announced on Thursday that it would award a special $1,000 bonus to over 100,000 employees because of the passage of tax reform, and here we have... <laughs> The MSNBC hosts telling you, whoever watches, the six people, that, well, the tax uh, law, it's not good. So we're going to talk extensively about that and take your calls at 855-400-SAVAGE. And other things going on, we have the border wall. There are prototypes south of San Diego by Chula Vista that are going up right now. The state of California is suing the Trump administration for allegedly violating environmental rules. <laughs> and now border wall contractors, those bidding on the job, are being targeted for boycotts by states who say they will no longer use these contracts. Illinois, Arizona, California, New York, Rhode Island, and others. Uh, we'll talk extensively about that. Funny, about the EPA, there is an exodus from the EPA because all the whining environmentalist whack jobs who live there, and, and I say live there, I meant that because they live there. These jobs are like lifer jobs are leaving because, well, Trump doesn't believe in global warming. To his credit, it is fake. And so they're all bailing now, and they are whining on their way out the door. Senate payouts for sexual harassment cases. You won't want to believe the numbers that we're talking about of your taxpayer dollars. So much going on, so much to get to. ICE separating families who are coming over the border illegal. We'll talk about that pertaining to the immigration. Ah, so much going on. But first, the tax breaks. It is now the law. The president hung around D.C., I think personally, a little longer than he wanted to, but he wanted to get this signed. Some were saying that he would sign it before the end of the year, and he didn't. And he, he waited around, and he then he got on the plane, and he came down here to Palm Beach County before Christmas, because the press would shred him if this was to cross January 1st and not be signed. They would say, technically, he didn't get it done. He didn't get it done, and this is what's happening. It's a whole full calendar year of no accomplishments, blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, we're looking at a gross domestic product of 3.2, and uh, Gary Cohn said we're possibly going up to 4.0. U.S. consumer spending rose more than forecasted in November, and the Federal Reserve's preferred inflation gauge advanced to an eighth-month high. Okay, consumer confidence is through the roof. Okay, and this is all good things. It's all about optimism in our economy. I think close to a thousand regulations have been removed. It was 860 at one point. I don't know if it's gone up from there. Uh, I've heard numbers as high as 1,200, but we'll say in the 1,000 range. The handcuffs, as I've mentioned before, have been taken off of business, and this is giving the consumer, this is giving businesses, both large and small, the confidence and the optimism. Add in the tax law that is now the law of the land, and people are going to be keeping more money in their pocket comes February. Corporations are going to have more money, but still... It is not popular. We talked about it yesterday, but 50-something percent uh, of people disagree with it. There was only like a 33% approval rating. Truly an amazing phenomenon. Uh, we, we talked extensively how the media is getting the job done there. I have talked personally 
to numerous people since yesterday who are going to be, because I'm in Florida, who are going to be benefiting immensely from this tax break on a personal level. Yet they still don't like it. Why? Because they're Democrats. And that really, friends, is the foundation of the whole thing. Okay? Why doesn't the media like Trump? Because he's Trump and he's a Republican. Why don't Democrats who voted for Hillary like Trump? Because he's Trump and he won. (laughs) I mean, that is really all it comes down to. It doesn't need much further, more analysis than that. If the President of the United States, even if he is not the man you voted for, is putting more money in your pocket and making things better for you and your family... How could you not like it? Okay? If he's making the country a better place, by all opinion, a rough start, a rough start with the travel ban in late January, early February, but a smooth ending with the tax cut at the end of the year, uh, and you're looking at an approval rating based around 44%, depending on where you go. Obviously, there are some places you look, it's much lower, but I really don't trust a lot of those. So I'd like to know from you, the listeners to The Savage Nation, as we go into Christmas weekend, the tax cuts are now law. How do you feel about it? Have you softened up now that you know you're going to be getting some more money? Or are you still against it simply because it is coming from Trump? Someone said to me this morning, If Barack Obama had passed the same exact tax cut, the media would be praising it. People who are saying they hate it would say they love it. It's the power of perception. It's the power of the media. It is truly an amazing phenomenon, but I think we're going to be seeing great things. They are rolling the dice on this, and we'll see how if it's going to come up snake eyes or seven. But I I just want to say one, one more thing before we go to our break is... How did this happen so fast? This happened so fast because Paul Ryan and Mitch McConnell needed a win. They had no legislative successes. President Obama could look back and say Neil Gorsuch and all the regulations and the Keystone Pipeline, the Dakota Pipeline, and uh, appointing 12 circuit court justices, and, and the list goes on and on and on of accomplishments through the year, but nothing with the help of Congress. And you've heard me and Dr. Savage here on the Savage Nation talk about how the Republicans are the enemy within. It is Chapter 1 in uh, Dr. Savage's previous book, Trump's War is Battle for America, The Enemies Within, Chapter 1, Paragraph 1. Those enemies within needed a win. So McConnell and Ryan worked with the president to fast track this tax cut in to give him a win, but more so to give them slimy selves a win. Don't think they're his friends. They're all out there on the steps clapping and patting them on the back and all that kind of stuff. That was all for show. They did this for themselves. They know they're going to take big losses in the midterms. It's traditional. But they were going to try to cut the losses, cut the uh, the blood flow uh, of their own self. They don't care about President Trump. Their actions all year prove that. So anyway, Lou Pate here with you on the Savage Nation. Tis the season for God, faith, and reason. Dr. Savage's latest book, number one on the New York Times bestseller list just before Christmas. Still time to get it. Put God on. Under the Christmas tree, from us here at the Savage Nation. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. The Savage Nation is sponsored by Swiss America, the only company I trust with my financial future. Call 800-289-2646 or SwissAmerica.com. It's the Savage Nation, Lou Pate in for Dr. Savage on this Christmas weekend, on the cusp of Christmas, and do not leave God out of Christmas this year. Pick up a copy of God, Faith, and Reasons in stores, or order from Amazon, and get it in time for Christmas. There is still time. Tis the season for God, Faith, and Reason, the 
New York Times number one bestseller. Just another one by Dr. Savage. Boy, I tell you, he can, he can uh, get a New York Times number one bestseller. He must be the envy of all other talk radio hosts who fancy themselves authors. Um, but he actually answers the call, and uh, God, Faith, and Reason does it yet once again. 855-400-SAVAGE. Lou Pate here with you. A Merry Christmas, an early Merry Christmas. And Donald Trump is saying he gave us a Christmas present. Today he signed into law the massive $1.5 trillion tax overhaul into law, cementing the biggest legislative victory of his first year in office, and they also got in a short-term spending bill that averts the uh, possible shutdown. And you know what was contained in that um, a, a version of the possible shutdown is the CHIP thing uh, for the kids, health insurance for the kids. It's called CHIP. A lot of the uh, CNN hosts and MSNBC hosts were drooling over that, and they were talking before that this was uh, put in there at the very last minute, and so Democrats got some of what they want. But did they really... Because I don't think they care about insurance for health insurance for kids. I think they would hope that it would be out because then it would be a talking point for them for the next who knows how long. But let's hear from uh, the president himself. Robert, clip number one. This is uh, Trump talking to the media about the signing the tax bill in time for Christmas. So this is the bill right here, and we're very proud of it. It's a... Uh it's going to be a tremendous thing for the American people. It's going to be fantastic for the economy. It's going to keep companies from leaving our shores and opening up in other countries. They are very disincentivized to do that. They are. There's not a lot of, a lot of not a lot of not a sense to do that. You do that, and uh, I don't think you're going to be running your company very well. Now, the package is the largest overhaul since the 80s, since Ronald Reagan. And um, we don't want to get into crunching the numbers. But all in all, 90% of the middle class is going to get some form of tax relief. According to the uh, talking head economists that I've read online and have seen on TV, you're looking the average family at about $2,000 is, go- is going to be what they are going to get. Um, you know, it's it's not bad. It's going to be better for for some people on the higher end scale, but in this case, nobody loses because some people get more than others. Is that the case? You know, it depends on where you sit. It depends on where you stand. OK, we heard yesterday from the millions of listeners out there at the Savage Nation, and, and it was it was hot, man. I'm telling you, Dr. Savage's show was so popular. The phone lines were lit. Even we felt bad after the show, the, even afterwards, they, the show was ending and it was full lines. Uh, people cheering it on in Florida and people poo-pooing it in California and New York. And, like I said, is it good or is it bad? It depends on who you are and where you're at and what your income level is. Lou Pate in for Dr. Savage as we head towards Christmas. God, faith, and reason. Put God under the Christmas tree this year. It's not too late. You can order from Amazon or get God, faith, and reason in bookstores now. Lou Pate here with you on The Savage Nation. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Thank you for listening to the show on Really Big Something Channel. I'll sign this today rather than having a very big formal ceremony in two weeks when we were going to do it, because... I didn't want you folks to say that I wasn't keeping my promise. I am keeping my promise. I'm signing it before Christmas. I said that the bill would be on my desk before Christmas. And you are holding me literally to that. So we did a rush job today. It's not fancy, but it's the Oval Office. It's the great Oval Office. Back to the Savage Nation. Lou Pate here with you. There is Donald Trump in the signing ceremony today. It's not fancy. I love that. It's the Oval Office. Welcome back to the Savage Nation, the home of God, faith, and reason. And bring God back into your home this Christmas season. Don't leave God out of Christmas. It's all about God. It's not about commercialization. The commercialization is the fun part. Pick up Dr. Savage's latest New York Times number one bestseller, God, Faith in reasons, but God, faith and reason. Excuse me. It is in in stores right now, or you can get it on Amazon.com. And believe it or not, 
in time for Christmas. There is still time. You will be the big hit of Christmas. So put God under the Christmas tree this year. 855-400-SAVAGE. Only um, in America can someone come forward and say, yeah, the Oval Office, it's not too fancy. <laughs> I guess when you live at Trump Tower, a place I've been to many times when I worked construction, Mar-a-Lago, a place I see from a very far distance when I ride up A1A on my motorcycle, I guess the White House uh, isn't too fancy. Let's get to the phones. Ben at WABC, you're a big Trump supporter. Where are you at on this tax law now? Oh, man, I'm telling you, I mean, I, I, I'm really, really not for it. I, I, I'm against, I'm disheartened by it. I mean, I, I really, really, um, I, I'm really for a lot of what the president did, what President Trump did. A few things I dislike, but mostly I, I really like what he's done. But this tax plan is, is, is going to punish people like me. I mean, I, I live in New York. I have an extremely exorbitant real estate tax. Um, I what is, if you, let me interrupt you here, Ben. I apologize, but I want to get in. We had a, a retired New York City detective, 33 years on the force, Michael from Nassau County yesterday. He told us his property tax on his home in Nassau County, which is Long Island, closer to the city, was $16,000. What, what do you pay on your home, if you don't mind me asking? Well, it's not that high. It's uh, it's uh, like nine thousand. And where where do you, where what town? Well, you know where do you live? You don't want to say you know want the crazies to go to your house, but where do you live? It's in it's in the five towns area. Oh, okay, all right. So oh, nine thousand dollars not exactly anything to shake a stick at. That that's a good chunk of change. It's a good chunk of change, and I have high student loans. I went to graduate school, undergrad. My student loans are, are, are uh, the interest is through the roof. And, uh, I mean, the percentage rate is not that high, but the interest is a high interest rate. And uh, I'm not even talking about, you know, uh, staying on local taxes, because that, that part of it I'm not, I'm not against. But, but, you know, taking away these deductions and, and, and putting a flat deduction is really, is, is really going to, uh, put a beating on me, that's for sure. Now, I don't know your particular inst- uh, in, uh, your case scenario here, Ben, but does it make it up on the other end? You know, with, with the other tax breaks that are coming for single, I don't know if you're single or married, but single versus married couples, 12000 24000 does, does that come your way? Doesn't it, you know, sometimes people tend to look at the negative, but they don't look at the savings either. One might offset the other depending on your own personal situation. Yeah, no, no. My brother's an actuary, and and, and uh, one of my parents is a CPA, and I went through with them. It, it, it's going to cost me uh, uh, close to four thousand dollars a year based on this because uh, because I can't take the deductions even even with the higher uh, uh, set deduction. Uh, um, it's gonna it's gonna cost that much more, and um, I mean, there's nothing really I can do about it. But. but you do realize, I mean, you're listening on the great WABC, a station that I grew up listening to, a fantastic station, a station I worked at for a couple of years. I always say that because I did two years, and um, you know, because you live in New York, which you know, New York's a great place. It's 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 my home. You know, Manhattan was my backyard growing up, riding the trains with my friends. It's it's one of those things, though. It's more of where you are geographically, because if you look across the map, Ben, outside of the coastal states, you know, like in Florida, we received numerous fo- of, uh, calls yesterday from Dr. Savage's affiliate WBOB in Jacksonville saying how happy they are because it's going to be beneficial to them. So it really comes down to a combination of income and geography. Yes, yes. And my brother lives in Florida. He's going to benefit to the tune of... Uh of a few thousand dollars, so I guess that offsets between me and him. But I just feel like I feel like the, the president is saying, "Listen, you know, my supporters that live in New York and LA, I'm not going to win New York and LA anyway. So if they get hurt by it, their vote is not going to affect me anyway. I'm going to do it for my supporters in the swing states and 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 the uh, and the middle of America that 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 elected me, where their vote is going to count, and I'm going to do this tax." Uh, overhaul for them as opposed for for the voters who 
their vote doesn't really uh, affect the election. The I can't, hey Ben, I cannot disagree with you on that because I made that point yesterday right here on the Savage Nation that uh, if you're going to cut your, thank you for your call by the way, if you're going to have to cut your losses somewhere, you're going to cut your losses in states that aren't going to vote for you anyway. Some people said that that was payback. Maybe. I don't know. I'd have to ask the president. When I ride my motorcycle past Mar-a-Lago, I'll ask the president. As they're cuffing me, I'll uh, ask the president. Let's head out to Dr. Savage's uh, flagship in San Francisco, his hometown, KSFO Sam. Welcome to the Savage Nation with Lou Pate. How are you? I'm fantastic. Are you ready for Christmas? I am, I'm ready for Christmas. I still feel like a kid when Christmas is coming around. What about yourself? Oh, same here. Yeah, you know, we always uh, have a great time with the family and the kids and the wife and everyone. So it's always a, it's always a good time around. The only the only bad part about Christmas is that I am no longer a child because I have such incredible memories that my parents provided uh, Christmas eves and Christmas mornings. That you know, we, we have different memories now. But man, that 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 feeling of waking up, did Santa come? Oh, you can't beat it. <laughs> You can, especially if you walk in your garage and you got a motorcycle right here, right on that. <laughs> that that one Santa didn't bring me. I, that one I got many years later on my own. But I know what you're saying. But I, hey, um, what? Uh, how can I help you, Sam? So the question I have is, you know, I consider myself just a blue collared worker. I'm a sales uh, and a project manager here for a uh, family based plumbing company here in the Bay Area. And my wife works for, you know, again, she's probably in the upper scale and, and makes about 90 grand a year. We make, I make about 62,000 a year. And that doesn't sound like a lot here in California, but we get by okay. Um, does it, can you now, listen, it's a good, it's, it's a, it's a good living, but can you, and you're in San Francisco, you're outside of San Francisco, what town are you in? You're listening on KSFO, what, what town? We're in south, we're in San Jose, Los Gatos area, which is a little pricey, of course. Um, you know, San Francisco is much more expensive than, the South Bay or even Morgan Hill, Gilroy areas. But. Yeah, but I knew I knew people in the San Jose area, and that's not exactly cheap. No, 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 no. place in that neck of the woods is inexpensive. <laughs> well, I think anywhere in California, especially the Bay Area or uh, Southern California, is you know you got to be making you know at least a six-digit income to even put you know a slice of bread on the table. So, and my I guess my question is, and I don't want to take a lot of your time and your listeners' time, but. Uh, being that we make uh, right around, you know, I make 62000 a year. She makes about ninety a year uh, working for the county. And, uh, you know, we always file. Uh, our, our accountant and our tax guy always said, you know, file single. You know, she has a child. I have a child. And, um, and I guess my question is, being in that type of bracket, where about, uh, I don't know if you can answer the question, or not, but is that something that the tax reform or the tax bill uh, that just went into place, is that something that's going to affect us, you know, uh, looking at it negatively or in a positive uh, I'm just not sure where to. Well, do you? Well, uh, I'm not an accountant, but now you say you have a child. So together, you're like a mini Brady bunch in a sense. Yeah, kind of. Well, I have a I have a child from a previous marriage, and she has a child from a previous marriage also. So we both have kids that are you know teenagers. Um, so she files head of household every year and claims her daughter. I don't. My my ex wife does. Um, but um, you know, we both file single as our as our tax guy. We said just do a single until some changes or. You know, we can play with those numbers that, that when the time comes. So that's what we do. We, you know, we, we're joint. We're married. Uh, been married for a couple of years now. And, uh, you know, with that being said, we, he always says go in and file single. Uh, you know, obviously she claims her child. Um, I don't. But, um, you know, with standard deductions, uh, you know, she has. Well, uh, let me give it to you this way, Sam, just briefly. Because um, uh, uh, no, one, no one wants to listen to financial talk. But I'll tell you this. <laughs> what I would do is I could tell you this. The standard deduction has increased, okay? And I'm not going to give you financial advice, but I'll just say, but sure. for married couples, the standard deduction increased from uh, $12,000 to $24,000. And if you go to whitehouse.gov and click on the very first story there, and then you scroll down, it's going to give you the whole standard deduction thing, and it gives you... Um, by individuals, for single parents, uh, student deduction. It's all right there. So you go to whitehouse.gov, and it says right there, budget and spending, what tax cuts have to do with making America great again. Click on that, and it, and it's all going to come right up and scroll down, and they give you a little cartoon, and it goes, number one, the tax cut means this, the bill puts American businesses, number three, the act will eliminate this and that, and it, it's all right there. So uh, check that out, and that's going to answer your question about individual deductions and whatnot. Fair enough. I really appreciate it. All right, Sam. Merry Christmas and enjoy your children and have a good time because they grow up so fast. 
Yes, they do. And you yourself do the same and keep it rubber side down, my friend. Okay, will do. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. It's fellow writer there. Lou Pate here with you on the Savage Nation. Dr. Savage will return. But right now, get to God, Faith, and Reason, his latest New York number, New York Times number one bestseller. Put God under the Christmas tree. But right now, let's put you on the phone. Kevin at WABC. Welcome to the Savage Nation with Lou Pate. How are you? Hey, Lou, it's a pleasure to speak with you. Thank you. Thanks for taking my call. Um, i just like to thank all of the people like you, the conservative talk radio hosts and personalities on TV and, and on the radio. If it wasn't for you guys with the credibility, common sense, honesty, no deception, no smokescreen, no BS. Thank God for all of you guys, because otherwise... I go out of my mind with this nonsense on these other. Well, you know, you know what it is, Kevin. You know, you know, you know what it is, Kevin. I'll, I'll only speak for myself here, and uh, I don't speak for Doctor Savage. But I will tell you this because I listen to him regularly. The thing that is appealing is that we're honest. Okay, I, I've always say that Doctor Savage is the cornerstone of the Trump presidency because he gave him a national platform when the others were still looking the other way and not taking him seriously. Doctor Savage took him serious, put him on the Savage Nation, exposed him to tens of millions of his listeners and that i believe propelled trump into the presidency and he's honest because he doesn't always agree with trump okay he's he's not in favor as you've heard he's not in favor of moving the the um the embassy to jerusalem he's not a big fan of this tax cut yet he has supported donald trump so it's not you know we are not uncondi- we are not lemmings who just follow right off the cliff here when we agree we agree when we disagree we disagree and sometimes we disagree with people that we support and that's where the honesty comes from you don't get that everywhere oh and on the subject of the tax plan i think we lost kevin Kevin, we lost you. Give us a call back, and uh, we'll get you back up there. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, we'll continue with your calls. But also, Senator Van Hollen, okay, says the AT&T bonuses were just a PR stunt. Democrat from Maryland is poo-pooing hundreds of thousands of workers in various companies getting bonuses because of the tax cuts. Boy, talk about Scrooge. Talk about the Grinch. We'll talk about that when we come back, and we'll talk with you, 855-400-SAVAGE. But don't forget, time is short. Don't leave God out of Christmas. Pick up God, faith, and reason in stores or order from Amazon and get it in time for Christmas. Lou Pate here with you on the Savage Nation. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. The Savage Nation is sponsored by Swiss America, the only company I trust with my financial future. Call 800-289-2646 or SwissAmerica.com. Thank you for listening to the show on Really Big Something Channel. This is an interesting year. It's only part of an interesting year. And they're taking great credit for this accomplishment. Well, I call it a Pyrrhic victory because it's a monster, a Frankenstein. And anybody who's familiar with Frankenstein knows that it was a creation, a monster that was created. Do you know the ending of the Mary Shelley's story? The monster comes back to destroy. Welcome back to the Savage Nation. Lou Pate in for Dr. Savage. And boy, that just opens up so many avenues of exploration. But before we do, remember to go to michaelsavage.com for your headlines. You can read there the Las Vegas shooting. FBI official says info on the motive may take until next October. To, re- to release. Boy, they're never going to let us know what truly happened there. And the Senate says it has paid out $1.5 million to settle quote-unquote harassment claims. We're going to touch on that a little later here on the Savage Nation, but all your headlines there are michaelsavage.com. But remember that Christmas is just a few days away, and you want to put God under the Christmas tree, and the way to do that is to pick up Dr. Savage's latest book, number one on the New York Times bestseller list, God faith and reason in stores or order from amazon and get it in time for christmas the illustrious nancy pelosi there ironically talking about frankenstein now i don't know how much plastic or botox she has had on her face but frankenstein was built by dr frankenstein and uh, nancy pelosi is a monster of her own making a monster of her own device if you will so it's just uh 
I'm not going to sit here and, and pick on her too much, but you know, those who have uh, built monsters of their own should not label anybody else uh, Frankenstein, and we'll just uh, leave it at that. Truly an amazing phenomenon. This woman has no shame. Do you remember with Obamacare, and it was just a horrible thing that Obama had to tweak like 49 times, do an end around around the Constitution, and at that point... Uh, th- uh, what is it? Twenty-five uh, percent of all exemptions came from one district, and that one district was Nancy Pelosi's district in San Francisco. Gee, is it coincidence? Can the numbers actually fall out of the sky and land that way? Listen, this is a bad week for the Democrats going into Christmas, going into New Year's. This is a big loss for them. They thought they had Trump cornered with this Russia thing. They thought they had him cornered with the few stumbles out of the gate back in January with the travel ban. But he has recovered, and he has come back with a vengeance. And Democrats have stooped so low, as I mentioned, Chris Van Hollen calling the bonuses that AT&T is giving a publicity stunt. I mean, people are getting their own money in their pocket. And the Democrats are poo-pooing it. That kind of says it all. Lou Pate here with you in on the Savage Nation, the home of God, faith, and reason. Get it in time for Christmas here at the Savage Nation. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Thank you for listening to the show on Really Big Something Channel. So I'm a cat. And I just moved in with this new human. And she's got this little toy she's always playing with. All day long. Tap, 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 tap. Bloop, bloop. She can't put it down. There it is. Oh, and get this. She even talks to it. Last week, she asked it for Chinese. And guess what? Egg roll showed up. Like magic. Humans have cool toys. A person is the best thing to happen to a shelter pet. Be that person. Adopt. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the ShelterPetProject.org. So, you know, I'm a dog, and I'm kind of new to this family, but I've noticed a trend. My humans do this thing where they go around and get all my toys and hide them in this basket, but it's always but it's always the same basket, and it's always the same place, and then they act so surprised when I find them, but I'm like, hello, that's where you put it last time. Humans are the worst at hide-and-go-seek. A person is the best thing to happen to a shelter pet. Be that person. Adopt. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the ShelterPetProject.org. 